So what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So I was scrolling through the GSAP community and I found this cool way of adding the circular gallery effect. So here we have a bunch of images that basically are aligned in a circle. And then when you grab one and kind of just start throwing them one by one, you'd see that we have this cool spinning effect and it's pretty fun and is pretty smooth to be honest. And also, it's not just you can grab and throw, you can also, when you move your mouse wheel, you see these image move. So it's pretty fun and yeah, it looks pretty nice. So you guys can have a similar effect as well. I'll leave the link uh, to the original GSAP post in the description so you guys can check it out. But yeah, overall, it's a fun, fun stuff. The source code is going to be in the description. So make sure to download and play with that. So yeah. Without any delay, let's get started and let's learn to build this. All right, so here I am in my cursor and I've got my index.html file open. And here I have some stuff which let's just quickly discuss. So first I've linked the CDN. So we have GSAP, Draggable, .minify.js. We have Inertia plugin. We have also Motion Path plugin. And then here I've got some of the styling here, which first let, let's add the HTML just so that I can explain to you the proper styling. So for this, um, we'd first need a wrapper to wrap entire thing. And then within that, we'll have the container. Now the container is going to have an SVG. Now this is a fun way of aligning stuff. But first, let's disable this cursor. All right, it's going to keep giving me suggestions. All right. Um, so yeah. So we have here an SVG. And then we have almost nine images. Um, let's see what they do. So here we have the SVG circle and then here, and then here we have the images. Um, all right. So let's just discuss the um, styling. So here the wrapper has a width of hundred percent, height of hundred viewport height, a display flex, justify corner center and align items to center, overflow to hidden just so that everything is, um, in the fixed viewport height and nothing overflows. The container has 700 pixels width and height. The image has 200 pixels width and height. And then the actual image inside of the image div has the height of 100% and then object fit as contained. So yeah, um, there are other images as well, but I won't be able to show you because the overflow is hidden so I can't really scroll and show you. Now to align images in a circular way, you can use JavaScript, you can uh, use math to calculate the angle and then use sine and cosine functions and then basically align them uh, to that specific angle. But that might be a little complicated. I don't want to like make it complex. I want to have it more easier way so that the beginner guys can easily do it. So we have this motion pass plugin. Now I came across this in a DSAP community post. I'll share the link in the description. So it's pretty fun and yeah, you guys can check it out as well. So here, what I'm going to be doing is I'll start the script tag. I'll grab all the different images and store it in this image array. I'll have this container and then this container is basically the container that we have. Let's save and yeah, we don't have any change because we haven't done anything significant. So here, the next thing that we do is we add gsap.set, we target the images, and then we call this motion path. Now, if you don't add the CDN, you won't be able to add the motion path. So make sure to add the CDNs to access these, these specific properties. So we have this motion path. Now here we specify the path that the path is of circle. Here you can add any SVG you want. You just give it an ID here. I've just given it an ID of circle. The path that I want is of the ID circle. The alignment needs to be that of the circle itself. Let's save. And as you can see, we have one image here. Now, this is not one image. Actually, what's happening is all the images are now on top of each other. And this image is the last one. So we need these to spread across and then kind of form like a circular shape. So here we want first the align origin as this, just so that it aligns it a bit. As you can see now, it's a bit off and goes away. Let's align it. Let's save. This looks better. 
and then we want each individual image to spread across so for each individual index we just we just divide it by the images length so basically this takes in a value from 0 to 1 so what this does is for the first image it will be placed at 0% since index going to be zero so entire thing's going to be zero the second one's going to be sort of like at around like 10 percent and then 20 30 40 and so on and so forth and then um just before adding this let's save and let me just show you so this is how it looks now these images need to basically um face forward or basically match the circular circular direction as you can see, the images are kind of flat, which we don't want. So here what you can do is you can add auto-rotate as true. And when you save it, as you can see, the images are now aligned along the circle. All right. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we don't want to see this SVG. So what we can do is in the CSS, we can just target the SVG and then just set the opacity as zero. Now the SVG won't be visible and you get this cool circular shape. Now it's time to add the different effects. So first thing that we want to add is the draggable effect. The draggable is basically when on mobile screens, you can basically play around with the images, you can slide it and they would automatically start rotating. So here we have this draggable, which again comes from the CDN of this, which is draggable.minify.js. So you create uh, basically a draggable container, you target the container, you add the type, so it's a type of rotation, and also inertia to true. Now for you want to so for for basically adding inertia, you also need the inertia plugin. So make sure to add that as well. So what this does is basically when you're done um, dragging, it won't just stop it at that exact place. It will basically have this smooth fading kind of stuff. It looks more realistic. There's that. Now, the next thing that we want to do is a more like an add-on that I wanted to add here. And that is, we also want to add this kind of like scrolling effect. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a quick rotate to a GSAP, GSAP quick tween. So here we target the container. We add the rotation, basically, which is the property. And then here what we want to ha have is we want to have the duration of 0 0.5, ease of power to out. And then we add an event listener of will, basically the mouse will. We take in the event, we add a sensitivity, which is basically the way you scroll. You don't want it to uh, basically get stuck. You want a little bit of smoothness when you scroll. And then you call this rotate to, you pass in the get property, which basically gives you the property. And then here you add the basically how far you want to rotate so this event dot delta y basically gives you the um length that you have scrolled multiply that with the sensitivity and then let's save and now when i scroll you see that these start moving it's pretty fun and also now when i grab any any one of these image and kind of throw it you see that cool spinning so yeah, that's basically what we have for this video. The source code is going to be in the description so you guys can download and play with that. And yeah, that's it for this video. Meet you guys in the next. Till then, bye-bye, take care, and peace.